It's Monday. I'm getting ready for work. I want to teach you a little bit today about how to create your own creative career. Did a whole lot of things and uh, got recognized for what I could do and given the opportunity to do it. And I'm going to teach you how you can possibly figure out how to create your own p creative position, start a creative career from any point that you're at. I'm getting everything ready now. It looks like it's going to be a good day today. I'm actually excited because it is the beginning of the new week and uh, I'm going to have to get a whole bunch of other stuff done. Doing this sort of thing is not easy. It takes a lot of groundwork, it takes a lot of dedication, it takes a lot of concentration. So before we begin, understand that you need to have a very clear picture over what exactly you want to achieve here. Um, when you want to create a creative career. No matter if you want to be a painter, if you want to be a photographer, if you want to be a graphic designer, or a filmmaker of some sort. Have that clear picture in your head because this is going to be a struggle, but these are the sort of stories that I love to tell. You're gonna to have to do this. This is a marathon that you're about to do. You're about to commit like the next 10 years to this very first step to understand what you want to do. Right? What do you want to do? I'm gonna talk about everything here in the vein of being a filmmaker. So there's different avenues that I could always go to putting motion pictures together. If you would if you would do it anyways, if you would already do this for free, right? If you would paint for free, if you would take photographs for free, if you would do graphic design for free, you're in the right track. I would I've I've been, I've made videos for people and I've I've done business videos for free. I've I've done a lot of things for free. I'm not gonna show you how to do something for free. I'm gonna show you how to make money on it, but um but if you would do it for free, you're on the right track. You have to love this, otherwise you're going to fail miserably because you don't love it. All right, we're at work. As I'm getting ready for my day, I have to reflect on making sure that I have everything that I need, um, pretty much ready to go, get my shot list for the day, my scripts. You definitely need to work on yourself hustle a little bit harder and get better at your craft that you're trying to develop no matter what it is. Do as much as you can, say yes to as many projects as you can, just get out there and do it. If it's painting, paint as many pictures as you can, okay? A picture a day, at the end of that year, you're going to knock it out. That picture you're gonna draw at the end of the year or the film you're gonna make, if you make one every day, they're just gonna get better because of volume. You really need to work on finding out what you don't know, right? You don't know what you don't know, but as you grow, as you learn, as you educate yourself, you'll quickly become aware of things that can definitely improve any quality of work that you're trying to accomplish. Sometimes you're gonna to have to do things that you don't wanna do, even with the craft that you want. It's gonna be aspects of everything, every career decision that you make that you're not going to enjoy, that you're not going to be happy with. Not everything is going to be easy. Not everything is going to be hard. You, get, you have to take care of yourself. You need to understand what you actually need. How much money do you need to live, right? You need a place to sleep. You're gonna need food and water, right? You need those things to live. If you don't live, your craft doesn't live and you don't grow, right? What sort of job can you do that might not take that much mental energy that you can afford to give it to your craft? Or how do you marry your craft to the thing that you're currently doing? You know. Figure out, be creative with these things. Understand first what you need. What do you need? I was able to create the career I was because I took myself seriously. And I took and I made sure that I was learning something from every single thing that I was doing. Now I'm the marketer here, right? I get to make 100 videos a day for everyone else. I am hustling as hard as I possibly can. I am getting creative. I'm seeing how fast can I turn over these videos? How much better can I communicate a message? How can I tell a story? Making a living doing it and then trying to figure out how to marry it to my passion, what I actually want to discuss, right? That is what the struggle is about. The struggle is about figuring out no matter what position you are in life, getting to exactly where you want. All right, the video is getting a little bit long-winded and I just wanted to um, kind of recap the main points of this video that I want to do at the, the beginning of this four-part series. All right, there's two things at the beginning you need to think about. This. Okay, self-awareness. Know exactly what you want to build your career around and then a needs analysis. Understand what you need. What bills do you have? Okay, where do you sleep? What do you eat? Those sort of things. You need to take care of those baselines first. If you can't take care, if you don't know who you are, 
you're setting yourself up for failure. So reflect on yourself on these few things, and I will get back to you in the next few days. Listen, this is fun. I'm going to keep this rolling. I look forward to talking to you all. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. Thanks.